this valley. It's one of the more interesting valleys, one of the more interesting parts of Peru that I know because you have this mixture of lowland Amazonian woodland type birds, you have Andean birds coming down in the mountains, and then you have this dry habitat here which is has uh, some associations with birds from, for example, Bolivia. There's a lot of diversity packed into that. Lots of different habitats. Every 500 meters as you go down slope, the habitat changes slightly and there's new birds. So big days, seeing as many birds as you can in 24 hours are a, a tradition amongst bird watchers. We're hoping that we can see perhaps as many as 350 species in this route. And uh, that was really what motivated us to do it. We were here, Glenn Seeholzer and I were here last year for the birding rally that was uh, a competition that was run from Chiclayo all the way to Tarapoto. Uh, and the day that we drove from Pomacochas to Tarapoto, we basically did the same route. And without having scouted, so we hadn't had a chance to uh, see what birds were where, other than having had some previous experience several years before. Um, we had 267 species that day, which is the most I've ever encountered in one day. And that was our motivation to think that we could probably break the, the world record of what's presently 342 uh, with some scouting, which is why we're here now. We're scouting out the area, we're trying to find out where all these individuals, where their territories are, so we can just come right to the territory, encounter the bird, and then move on to the next one. In the Valley of Rio Mayo, we've also found various species that were not registered for the Valley of Rio Mayo. But, we don't get so surprised to us, because it's in Peru, a country so big, so biodiverse, and so little studied, it's normal to find un nuevo registro en cual, por donde vayas prácticamente, ¿no? Tenemos mucha expectativa de que eh, este tipo de eventos como el Big Day ayuden a realmente eh, hacer visible el, el bosque de protección y que lo haga atractivo para la inversión privada, ¿no? So, if you are uh, a bird watcher that likes to see um, some unspoiled nature, and if you want to see some really rare birds and animals, there's uh, long-whiskered owlets, the yellow-tailed woolly monkey, uh, a number of really interesting animals and plants in this region. The Alto Mayo is a fantastic place to visit. And, of course, Peru is a great country. Pretty good food, too, I might add.